He actually set me up really well, at least for one part of what I wanted to say. Um, we didn't like talk about anything that we were saying. There was no intercommunication. So the fact that that worked out, the fact that that worked out well is uh, is very nice. So um, first, I want to say thank you to everyone who came out here to support me. It means the world. I really appreciate that you guys took the time to come out here. And um, before we get Going with what I want to say, uh, can we have all the gradu graduates from this year and last year stand up? So, Jackson, Josh, Devin, KJ, stand up, Lily, let's see, uh, Finn. And I would like everyone to give these people a round of applause. coming especially in high school like dad said time flies and freshman sophomore junior year it um it felt like it was never going to be here and it always kind of felt like i was trying to swim through molasses and now that i'm actually here i'm looking back and i'm like where what happened why am i now like six inches taller and actually know how to ride a bike better and um by the way, this like speech, I, I spent like five minutes writing sort of bullet points. It's not gonna be that great, just a heads up. Um, but the part that he said about life being like just savoring small moments and then the whole thing about, uh, oh gosh. It was memorable. Yeah, that and then just it being hard at times. Um, one thing that really helped bring that into perspective for me, at least through high school, was mountain biking. That was probably the biggest part of high school. And it, I'm gonna freeze a lot. <laughs> um, life is kind of like riding on a mountain bike trail that you don't know, that you're not familiar with. So, you know, one moment you could be going downhill and everything's great, you're having a great time, and then, you know, uh, Upsets can happen. You can hit a rock and suddenly you now have to go to the hospital. Or you can hit a hill and you realize that you now actually have to use your legs and pedal up that hill. And it is hard, but it lets you savor the smaller moments more. Like getting trapped in a tent where your brother is screaming about how he thinks he's going to die because it's literally two inches from your face with fine sand running through your teeth. Um, I'll keep the, I'll to finish this up and it'll be a few minutes, but uh, I just wanted to say a few special thank yous to some very special people. I'm going to start it off with Grandma Garvin. Grandma, um, one of the biggest parts of my life is reading stories and imagination, and without you, that wouldn't be anything close to what it is today without you reading to me when I was little, getting me books, and getting me books now too, just nurturing my love of reading, making sure that I stayed strong with it, and making sure that I at least had the option to love it. Thank you, Grandma. And uh, Grandpa Sunshine and Papa, both of you have been very strong role models in how one should act and how to be kind and loving towards other people, how to be generous and just hardworking, driven individuals. And thank you for that. I love you guys so much. Nona? Thank you for, even though I'm not your actual grandson, treating me like I am, loving me. And even though Miss Rebecca isn't here, I would say the same thing to her. 
This is hard. I'm not very good at public speaking. This is in public, I guess. But... You're doing great. Thank you. And then this group of gentlemen over at this table. Josh, okay, over here at this table, some of you might have seen this longboard. And in uh, last year, I don't know if all of you heard, but my dad went through a, a single day where he had this thing called transient global amnesia where he was forgetting stuff. It was really freaking me out. Basically what Josh did was say, hey, come over, let's hang out, get your mind off this. So I brought my longboard and we met up at the park near his house and I sat on my longboard while his dog dragged me along and we just kind of talked and joked around. Josh, that's just one of the things that I love about you. You're willing to be there for me as a friend. And that is one of the most special memories for me for high school. Thank you. <laughs> Jackson, you're not the head. That's about all I have to say about that. <laughs> I love you, dude, and thank you for being my friend for these four years of high school. I would have a hard time putting up with me, so I'm glad you made it this far. <laughs> Devin, the same goes for you, except it's been three years, and you're even more of a knucklehead with Ben Jackson, but <laughs> one thing that I can say is that I am so glad that you did not get me into drinking, smoking, but have gotten me far more obsessed into cooking. <laughs> It's a huge plus, and I thank you. All the times that we've both made incredible messes in the kitchen and also had a great time doing it and enjoying what we've made. KJ, you're the answer, and I love you. Thank you for being my friend for this long, even through, I mean, before high school, I guess, through all the relentless teasing and... <laughs> yep, you're small people. <laughs> Thank you for, <laughs> you, you're off by a couple inches, you need to go a little bit lower. Thank you for staying my friend and staying, like, I don't know, like in your house. It's always felt like a second home. Thank you for making it feel that way. Colton's and KJ, love you guys. Thank you to everyone else who came. Um, Let's get to eating food and dancing and having fun so that I can get off the stage and stop feeling awkward about how I'm not good at this.